Hi, Liam here from Presentation Expressions. So great to see you guys again. And as you can see, I'm in a wonderful room here, or maybe not so wonderful. Maybe some of you have actually done presentations in rooms like this. You can see they're quite large. It's kind of like a lecture room, I suppose, is the best way of describing it. But you know, but one of the biggest things that people have to do in presentations is keep the attention of the audience, which can be difficult, especially in a setting like this sometimes. You know, you've got the desk in front of you, you know, people get bored. Um, unfortunately, sometimes they're very tired. So how do you keep their attention? Well, something that both Carl and myself repeatedly tell you to do, uh, or suggest that you do, is tell a story, you know, and keep those stories really good. Now, recently, actually, because I've been um, coaching some students recently who studied in Helsinki, and I actually read some information about their study out in Helsinki and there was a great article at the back of this documentation and it was about telling stories during presentations. Exactly, right? Now, this method that I was reading about was called Story Theatre Method which has nine clear steps and the steps are as follows. Number one, create the scene. So how do you do that? Well, the scene is really the time, the place and the atmosphere if you want. Then number two, you need to introduce the characters. So who are the characters within your story? Number three, you create the journey. Now the journey is the task or objective if you want. Number four, the obstacle. And the obstacle in your story is the challenge, okay? And then five, overcome. And of course you have to overcome the obstacle. And six, resolve your story. And number seven, make your point. So each story, now this is very important, each story only has one point, okay? Eight, ask the question. So ask your audience the question. And number nine, repeat your point. Now that's quite a lot of information to take in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you an example story using that structure. Okay, so before I start the story, I want to give you an idea of what the presentation uh, is all about. Now, the presentation is about being an entrepreneur, okay? So this is the kind of story we could tell following the nine-step method, remember. Okay, so imagine you're really unhappy in your job. You're successful, but just things just don't feel right for you. What are you going to do? Well, this was the situation John was in about 10 years ago. He was really unsatisfied in his job. He was in middle management, very successful for his age because he was actually quite a young guy at the time. But he was really unsatisfied. He realized something big was missing. And he had a friend and the friend suggested to John, well, change your job. And of course, John gave the stock answer. I can't, I've got too many responsibilities. I've got a mortgage. I've got car payments, and so on. And his friend said, listen, do you want to feel the same way 10 years from now? And of course, John said, no. So his friend said, why don't you go and teach English abroad? You love Asia. That's a great place you can go to teach English. So John said, yes. And of course, John made those normal excuses. I can't. I've got a mortgage. I've got car payments. and so on. But his friend persuaded him to make the move. So John decided very drastically to quit his job. He quit his job and he got himself on a teaching course where he would get a teaching certificate so he could teach English. Now, the obstacle here was that, of course, John's other friends and John's family told him he was absolutely crazy. What are you doing, they said to him. You're quitting this great job. You're at the top level you can be in your company. Why would you even do such a thing? And of course, John found this very difficult to deal with. But his friend, you know, gave him some inspiration and said, listen, John, this is the right thing for you to do. So anyway, John completed his teaching course. And what happened then was he got his teaching certificate. He got on a plane because he got a job. He went to Asia. 
And he started teaching English, and he loved it. He realized this was the industry, or that was the industry, that he desperately wanted to be in all these years. He loved helping people. He loved teaching people. And he's very successful in that industry now. And it's given him endless opportunities. In fact, John um, has actually married and got children. And he, of course, he would never have met his wife if he'd never gone to Asia. So a really inspirational story there. So John did what he wanted to do. He didn't listen to other people. And that's the difficult thing, isn't it? If you're unhappy in your job, okay, if you're unhappy with the situation you're in, make that change. And that change might be to be an entrepreneur. But unfortunately, many people will tell you it's the wrong thing to do. Now, John was lucky. He had a friend telling him to do something else and do what he wanted to do. So really, if you want to change, if you want to change your situation, if you want to change your life, step outside the box and become an entrepreneur. So the point is, do what you want to do. That's really important. Okay, so there's the story, a very simple story about a guy called John. He was unhappy and so on, and he got to where he wanted to be. And if you listen to the story, I actually went through each of the nine points. And I'll list those again underneath this actual post and so you can hear so you can see them again and go through it again. That's today's posting for presentation expressions. And as always, thank you for coming to the site and we hope to see you again really soon. Thanks again.